Right guys, welcome to the module 7 of this training, okay, module 7 of the web driver training, right. So today we will see how to handle variable expats. If you look at the course details uh, in the module 13, that is the 6th module of the train of the web driver in my site qtpselenium.com, then we will see how to manage the variable expats today, right. Yesterday I had talked about this variable expats and I had told you that we can use various javascript functions to handle these. So today we will use those javascript functions and we will do a practical example, right. That is, suppose I am on this website jobserve.com, okay. I search for the keyword testing over here, right, and I get certain results, right. And over here, in the results, I have got a job and a basket in front of it. I can click on that basket and that job will be added to the basket. Fine. Now using Selenium, I need to add all these jobs into the baskets. All the jobs on this page should be added into the basket. Okay. And uh, in the next phase, we, what we will do, we will add only those jobs, right, which have the word say manager in them. Okay, if a job you know, has a if a job description link has the word manager, then we will add that job into our job basket. Fine. So let's do with the first part that is adding all the jobs into the job basket. Right. For that we'll have to look for the X paths for all the baskets. If you look at the X path for this basket then this is the one, right. You take this X path in a notepad, right. And after this, I see the X path of another basket. I copy the X path of this basket as well in a notepad, right. So you would see that there is a pattern between all the X paths. All the X paths are varying but they have a pattern that is this part which I have highlighted is common for both the baskets. Similarly if I look at the X path of say the last basket on this page, the last basket will have this X path, right, okay. So now we see that this part of the XPaths is common. So what we'll do is we'll use Selenium WebDriver over here and we'll tell WebDriver to extract extract all the baskets from the page whose XPaths are starting from the uh, from the part which I've highlighted, right. Later on we'll solve the same example using Selenium RC as well, okay. Prefer using WebDriver, WebDriver is 100 times better, right. I'll make a new class called JobServe. We will be using uh, the JavaScript functions over here which we talked about yesterday to extract variable XPath objects. So I will write web driver driver equals to new Firefox driver. We had seen in module number um, 11 that there are various drivers in web driver. There are, there is a Firefox driver. Then in module 11 we have talked about the i driver, the Chrome, the iPhone, the Android driver, lots of drivers, right? So I take the Firefox driver and after that I write driver dot get that is go to the URL. I will give the URL of my site that is this was the one, okay. After going there, I need to extract all the baskets. Now when we have to extract the objects in bulk, as we had studied, we use the command driver dot find elements, right. And you give the X path, that is by the X path. Now we used to use, we need to use a generic X path over here. An X path which represents all the baskets, fine. And after extracting the baskets, 
we will put them in a list of web elements and we we'll call the list as ELE like this okay so what we are doing here is that we are extracting all the elements from the page putting them in a list remember module 7 in that I had told you about array lists and all this is a list of web elements web elements that are baskets fine we will give the xpaths of the bas generic xpaths of the basket here now we, how do we find the generic xpath an xpath which is common for all the baskets use the javascript function starts with which we studied yesterday that is the id is starting with the word this this part so this xpath over here is a generic one it represents all the baskets that is all the baskets having xpaths starting with this that is the id starting with this right and in the end you write system.out.println i will name this object as baskets baskets dot size right when you run this you see that and if you look at the output it prints 20 baskets fine it is printing that there are 20 baskets on the page having this x bar right so now we will write a for loop here to click on each and every basket we will start i from 0 because the first element in the basket is list is at the 0th index i less than equals to total number of baskets that is baskets dot size and i plus plus right and what i will do is i will write here baskets dot uh, get i dot click so you click on the baskets right when i is 0 the first basket will be retrieved that is the first web element then the second web element basket then the third web and each and every web element will be clicked on so when i run this code mozilla opens it goes to that page and uh, see it clicks on each and every basket on the page you got this right so now uh, if you look at the code I am getting an array index outer bound exception okay I am getting it because it should be i less than the baskets 0 to 19 they are total 20 baskets the last element in the basket would be at the 19th index so here we complete the first part that is adding all the baskets into the or adding all the jobs into the basket. Now I need to add only those jobs which have the word manager in them. Right? For example, this job. Right? So for this we will see the xpaths of these links. The first link has got this xpath. We will note it down. right and the second link is second link is having this x path right the third link is having this x path now if you look at the x paths there is a pattern here the pattern says that 2, 3, 4. This part is increasing in each and every x path. Right? I'll increase the font. Right. So the thing is, each and every x path is having a pattern and it is increasing. 
two, three, four. If you look at the last X path for the last job, this is the X path for that. And for the last X path, this is the one. So we are going from 2 to 21. So I will copy this part of my X path and I will write over here. I will write a string called start and put the starting part of the X path in that string. I will make another string called end and put the ending part of my X path in that string. That is this part. Fine. So I have not kept the number. I have broken the X paths into two parts. Right? And in this I will write system.out.println after clicking on the basket or before clicking on the basket I will print the job. The job text. That is I will write the command driver.findElement by the X path. Now I have to specify the X path of each and every link. I will write over here start plus i plus 2 plus end. Why this? When i is 0, 2 will be replaced by this part. And actually 2 will come here between at the end of start and at the beginning of end 2 will come. So when I run this it will print the names of all the jobs and it will also click on the baskets corresponding to those jobs. You see the output, the eclipse output. Um, sorry, there's a mistake. It should be right. Get text over here. Get the element and get the text from that element. Okay, I made a mistake. Let's run it now. This will print the job names, all the job names, the link names on the page. So if you look at the output now, you see that. Now I need to find out which job name is having the word manager in it. Okay. So what I will do is I will take the job name in a variable called string job equals to this right and I will use a string function over here that is a string parse function I will write if job dot index of remember the module 7 we studied index of index of the word manager is not equal to minus 1 that is if the manager word is present in it, then go ahead and print the job. I am just printing the job names which have the manager word in them. Right? When I run this code, this will print the jobs with the word manager in them. Although it will click on all the baskets, but in Eclipse, see, only those jobs which have the word manager in them are printed. Now I need to click on these jobs. The best thing would be to put this line inside the if statement. That's it. So this does our work. This will click only on those jobs which have the word manager in them. When I run the code, Yes, tell me your doubt. Yeah, the jobs, they are get. Uh, yeah, just a minute, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Yeah, so you see that these job baskets have been clicked which have the word manager. None other job baskets have been clicked. Fine. Now the question being asked over here is that, why is that whenever we open the browser, the... Uh, baskets are refreshed. That is, whenever I open a new browser with Selenium, the old basket being clicked is not displayed. It's because Selenium clears the cache and, and it starts a new Firefox profile. We'll be studying about Firefox profile in coming time, right?